Welcome back to Equine Photo School. I'm your host, Ole Moss. We're still on the booth thing, so let's dive right into this next video. Talk about this a little bit in other videos, but now let's talk about how we're gonna set this up and why we set it up this way. We've already talked about being on the same side of the screen as your customers, and that's a beneficial thing. That's huge, I don't wanna like gloss over that. That it needs to be emphasized, it's super, super important, but let's talk about kind of the layout here, right? As you can see, everything is very dark. You've you've been watching this video thinking, oh, holy man, this black, you need a black everything, right? Black shirt, black everything. Yeah, this doesn't look great on video, but what this does is it brings your viewer's eye to this screen. Now the screen is currently black and I have got this turned off for this purpose of this video, but obviously this would be on. So when your customer is sitting here, this bright, beautiful screen with their pictures on it is their focus. They're not looking around, they're not distracted. Having everything black, number one, goes with my theme, right? I've designed my business in a way that reduces distractions, right? I like everything to be either black or white as far as my logo goes, all this stuff, and black tablecloth. But the side benefit of that is that, for one, it reduces glares, if there's glare coming in. If you had a bright tablecloth, you'd see it, as you can see in just the reflection on this screen here. Uh, but what it mainly does is everything here is kind of dark. My mouse pads, mice, everything is kind of black and dark, but this screen being so bright brings your customers focus here. So they're focused on what they're here to do and that's buy pictures, right? So that's really important. We've got this size chart. We've gone through many iterations of this. We made it dark. We made the text bright, easy to read, easy to understand. It's simple, it's clean. There's no distractions on here. Um, there's nothing to, we had some like fun swirly things on there and people thought that they were buying that, that they were buying the fun swirly things and when they hand them a print that was full bleed, uh, that was borderless, they were disappointed. So we scrapped that, went to this where it's nice and clean and simple, it's straightforward, anybody can read it. We've got this menu here of some of our other most popular things. These are things that we can do right here in the booth or we can ship them. We can do statuettes, we can do collages. This gives them a short list. We don't, of course we can do hundreds of things, right? There's 350 odd products on my website. I'm not gonna put all that in the booth. I want this process to be honed in to just the most popular things that are gonna sell, that people already want, that goes fast. I want speed and efficiency here in this booth. That's our main goal. So when a customer sits down, we start showing them pictures, we're gonna start what we call a wish list. So this is just a note card and we usually have a box that these note cards go in. I don't have a have the box anymore, uh, but these go in a box so they're alphabetized in there too. So when people come back, it's easy to find their wish list. We just put it in their last name, first name, so it's easy to find. Boom, they come back, we write down more until they're ready to order. Once they're ready to order, we can take that wish list and then we can transfer that to one of these order forms. You can just get these at Walmart or Amazon or anywhere. These are two parters. It's important to have two parts so that there's instantly a receipt. Really, really important. I don't go for the triplicates because that's just a waste. We give, we keep the white one and uh, they give the customers the yellow one. The white one is important for us because you know, we still need to read it. We need to take that order and move on. And then the customer, this is just their receipt. And most people just throw it away, they don't care anyway. So what, what's nice is that both, both of these go to us over here at the print station. So you take somebody's order, you fill it out. I'm gonna show you on a separate video all about how we fill these out because it's just too much for this video. But after this is filled out, both copies go with us. Then the yellow one goes in with the print, okay? So if they're getting a print, both go to the print station and then the copy, the yellow copy for the customer, that is in with their prints. When they come pick up their prints, they'll get their receipt then. That way we have their name, their phone number, all that stuff, it's all in there with the print. It's super easy when they come to pick it up. However, if they are getting a digital and they're going back, they're not gonna come back to the booth, then give them that yellow copy right then and there. So that's the only, that's kind of a trick, you know, take some getting used to learning how that system works for your booth crew, uh, but that's how we do it. It's super efficient, super easy, and keeps things moving. The next thing is this money bag. Now these are cheap, you can get these for a couple bucks at the, you know, or even the dollar store probably, but Walmart, these are cheap and they just have a zipper. 
On the inside, they're fairly clean, uh, even if they get really dusty on the outside. I had a Cricut for a long time. I just sold it recently, uh, but I logo everything. Okay, so that's how we set up the viewing station. One more thing real quick before you go. Behind this booth, what you would normally see is a four foot by eight foot Oli's Images banner, but I didn't put it on my wall. But that's important. You want branding. You want to be recognized from a long ways away, and they, you want them to see who you are when they're up close. So all of that, all little tips, all little things, they, they help people remember you, and that's super important when it comes to business. Okay, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, ask me any questions. I'm here to answer them for you. Let's go on to the next video.